For many families, seeing the Nutcracker is an annual tradition. It certainly was for Christine, which is why she's so excited to be behind the scenes at the Kauffman Center, where Nutcracker performances start today, Christine. They certainly do. We would go every single year with extended family and we'd always have peanut M&Ms. I think she smuggled them into the shows. I'm just going to tell you that. <laughs> so much fun. Devin Carney is still here with us. The Nutcracker now joining us. I have to ask the star of the show. Are you nervous? First performance in 30 minutes. He's, he's nervous. He's tongue tied. <laughs> Devin, first performance in 30 minutes. Well, 45, yeah. 1030, yeah. Right. a matinee. Right. How exciting is it this? It is amazing. And to have the house packed with uh, students from all over the city coming in. 1,600 kids are going to be here. This whole theater is going to be full of them in 40 minutes or so. The dancers are all set to go. We've had lots of rehearsals here. It's been great. And they're still warming up. Yeah. They're behind us here. Yeah. You mentioned Washington. Yeah. Washington is important because you guys were performing there. That's right. We were performing at uh, the Kennedy Center, which is the nation's stage um, at, in Washington, D.C., doing this production of The Nutcracker. We did seven shows there over the Thanksgiving uh, week. Uh, rave reviews. Uh, the audiences went nuts. They really loved the show. Uh, very significant moment for Kansas City Ballet and for the city of Kansas City to be represented on that kind of, uh, in, you know, culturally important stage. Yes, absolutely. Um, and we really draw a lot of, drew a lot of eyes to us because of that. And I think it really shines a great light on the Kansas City cultural community. We talked props. We talked costumes. We have to talk music. You guys are. Yes. I, I, you're winging it, really. You have, you know, the the house band basically performing, aka uh -huh. orchestra. No, I'm just kidding. You have such an amazing music talent going to be performing with right, you guys. Right, right. We uh, we have the great fortune to have our beloved Kansas City Symphony play every single performance for us uh, in the pit, um, which is, you know, it's mind-boggling. I think that such brilliant artists are you know, helping us do our show, do our show, and it's really lovely that collaboration between the symphony and the, and the ballet. We, we adore it. We mentioned it earlier. How many shows do you have in total? Twenty-three when you include those couple of student matinees, but twenty-one public shows. And tickets still available? Absolutely, tickets are available at caseyballet.org, uh, and there there still are affordable tickets, which is really great. Devin, I am on cloud nine. Thank you so much for having us Absolutely. and taking us behind here and even watching these performers right now. It's seriously been such a treat. So thank you so much. Uh, are you going to get up on stage with them soon? I've been warming up, so I, I, I think it's so. time to go. Um, but Alexis, I want to have Doug show you guys these amazing people for performing as we as we leave you here because it's just it's really really fun you're not even going to recognize them when you come to the performance because they're going to be all dialed up right. but so much talent yeah. here between the props the costumes these dancers the music you're going to see the engineering behind it what a treat to have all this here in kansas city and the first performance is in about 45 minutes 10 30 is when they kick off right 10 1030 is oh going to be gosh. their very first performance and it's going to be a bunch of students who I hear are already banging at the door saying let me in <laughs> oh, we want to see this. So, uh, Try to keep those seats li Christine. People are literally holding the doors closed. No I'm kidding but they're going to get ready to come in and, and enjoy the very first performance. That's a remarkable so. vantage point. Thank